if you have the money pamper yourself treat i'm back <laughs> yes guys i'm back i'm back i'm back i know this is okay this is my official video after my break or since my break and so this is me just saying i'm back guys and i missed you also so much <laughs> Well, hi dear lovers and friends, good day and welcome back to my channel. It's Doris here as always and I'm back with another video as usual. And in today's video, as you can see from the title, I'm going to be telling you guys the ways I'm leveling up in my 20s. Yes, guys. I'm in my 20s, of course, obviously. It's not obvious. Um, so I'm going to be giving you guys, like, things I've been doing lately that have been working for me and ways that I've been leveling up in my 20s. Um... I took a break from YouTube, yes, I took a very short break because the whole YouTube was becoming so stressful, especially when you get to like put in lots of work and then you, je you get just little results. So it's becoming stressful coupled with schooling too. So I just said, okay, let me just take a break, a break, a much needed break. <laughs> and I'm glad to be back guys. So guys, I'm back from my much needed break and also back like i never left so like i said earlier as you can see from the title of this video um i'm going to be telling you guys the ways i'm leveling up in my 20s ways i'm working on myself to take myself to the next level in my 20s so, all right guys so the number one thing i've been doing is investing in myself yes i'm investing in myself a whole lot lately i've been investing in myself investing in myself in the sense that i'm getting to like rely on myself i'm getting to do things that will help me in the long run i'm getting to build myself to a totally different level so when i'm saying i'm relying on myself it's not that i'm looking at it like okay i just want to make myself better than every other person and just rely on myself totally no as much as we need others i also need to work on myself so that i can get to help myself when the situation calls for it so i've been investing in myself both spiritually mentally physically in all aspects of my life i'm getting to expose myself to an extent and it's been helping me if i must say so yes that's one thing i've been doing to level up to like level up <laughs> so the other thing i've been doing is to forgive others here yes. and it has to do with forgiving both family friends whoever it is that you've been holding a grudge against just letting go just forgetting the past because when you get to hold a grudge when you get to like get angry or something and you keep it in your mind you are not punishing the person at the end of the day even if you are punishing the person it's just a little extent to any to the larger extent you are punishing yourself instead so just Forgive others, forgive whoever it is that offended you or whoever it is that is making you keep a grudge, not being happy and stuff like that. Just forgive others, let go. I feel like that's one of the things I've been doing lately that is helping me level up. It's helping me like move higher, move forward. And I think you should try it if there's anyone you feel like he or she needs your forgiveness. And again, you know, this life is too short, so just make that move. Alright guys, so, so the next thing on my list is... Um, mm -hmm. it's learning how to cook, yeah. On the normal day, I know I know how to cook, yeah. Yes, I have to give it to myself. I know how to cook, I know that at least people get to eat my food and they say, Wow, you know how to cook. So I know that I know how to cook to an extent, but I'm like expanding my skills. That's still part of investing in myself. I'm learning how to prepare new things, learning how to create magic in the kitchen, just learning new stuff when it comes to cooking, and it's been helping me it's making me more confident you know there's there's this thing there's this confidence that comes with knowing that okay i know how to do so certain so i know how to do more than i used to know how to do so this extra skill that i'm getting is making me more confident and it's also making me look at myself like this like i'm looking at myself a step or two steps higher and it's really really nice it's helping me up my game all right so the next thing on my list is learning to say no yes this is something that i'm still i won't even lie to you all i'm still trying to do it i'm still in the process of that learning to say no because if there's something i don't know how to do is saying no and it has really affected me because it made me to do both things i would want to do and things i don't want to do i find it so hard to say no especially to those i care about 
not just those I care about, but especially to those I care about. I find it so hard to say no. I mean, but now one of the things I'm doing to level up my game, to level up my life, is learning to say no more often i think i'm getting more outspoken as the day goes by i'm getting more outspoken i'm getting to talk more to express myself a bit more than i used to i'm still a work in progress but i know that that's something i'm doing and you should learn how to do that too if you are finding it hard to say no just keep practicing it when you feel that strong urge the strong need to say no then you should say no, you okay. another, should say no. so guys another thing i'm doing is learning to cut out or cut off toxic people um, toxic people slash people that make me feel low or people that make me feel bad about myself or where I am um, I'm, I'm learning to, to cut them off like what I got to do on social media recently um, I just went for Instagram for instance I went on Instagram and I just looked at okay who are these people I'm following that whenever I see them I start feeling bad for myself or I start feeling low, I start feeling like I'm less than what I should be. And those set of persons, I got to unfollow them totally. Just, and it's been so refreshing for my mental health. It's really, really helping me. Whoever it is that is toxic, both directly or indirectly, whoever it is that is affecting my mental health, that is making me feel low about myself, that is making me feel bad about myself, about my growth, or about the way my life is, I'm just cutting them off so that's one thing i've been doing and it's really really helpful you should try it. if there's anybody you're following on facebook instagram twitter even youtube that's making you feel low about yourself they're making you feel bad about yourself just cut them off i'm just cutting them off and then i'm celebrating every every single every small milestone i'm climbing i get to celebrate it without feeling bad about myself without comparing myself with others and it's really been helping me lately yes another thing i just got to do is to open a, a savings account yeah no matter how sometimes it's just so hard to say especially with the fact that i'm a student i have lots oh my goodness these days I don't know, probably because I'm in my finals, but anyone in their finals in Delta State University, my department to be precise, will know that, ah, uh, please, if you watch this video, you are in my department, in my level, just leave a comment in the comment section so people will not feel like I'm talking. Like, recently, we've been spending a whole lot. We pay for this, we pay for that, pay for this, pay for that. It's not even funny. But my joy and happiness is in the fact that, okay, we are in, this is just the last, it's the last, we are in the last year, so, um, what i've been doing to level up is just open a savings account that no matter what i know that i'm dropping even if it's 100 naira, i get to drop there but i know that i'm dropping something even if you don't open a savings account if you get to maybe get a piggy bank or a piggy box whatever it is just be dropping something for rainy days it's it helps you no matter what it helps you to like you adjust yourself and adjusting i think you are adjusting positively so opening a savings account or learning to save because it does not make sense to keep spending spending only a foolish person will keep spending spending with no returns and no means of uh, no form of savings so i've been doing that out of the little i have i still remove something to save and it's been helping me it makes it's making me feel good feel better about myself and also gain some confidence so yeah that's something i'll advise you do the next thing i'm doing is to take care of myself like lately that was why i took a break from youtube i just had to take care of myself take care of my mental health take care of my mind and every other thing in between just take out time to take care of yourself if you have the money pamper yourself treat yourself well yes you worked for it we know that you save yes while saving you just try to balance everything you should there should be small for enjoyment if you are if you are able to no matter what the enjoyment could just be just going to sit down at the beach and just watching people or in an open space in a field or something or even taking ice cream or whatever it is that you feel like doing at that moment that will bring you joy bring you happiness you do it sometimes since um i might not have the phones and all of that sometimes what i just get to do that i feel like it's part of taking care of myself is i stand in front of the mirror i look at myself and i say ah you are beautiful do you know, do you know oh my god like are you the one I'm seeing on this mirror? Oh, baby girl, you are too fine. 
eh? don't allow anybody to tell you otherwise don't look at any other thing you are beautiful you are growing i look at myself in the mirror and say i love the woman you are becoming i love the woman you are evolving into and when i do all of that it just has a way of making me feel good about myself I look at myself in front of the mirror, I praise myself from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet and I say, you are doing beautifully, baby girl. Just carry on. Slowly and steady, you get there. That's part of taking care of yourself. It's not every day you beat yourself about unnecessary things. Just take care of yourself. Take care of yourself. Praise yourself. Validate yourself. If, no, if nobody validates you, validate yourself. Make yourself feel good. Make yourself feel special. Make yourself feel, oh God, you know you are special. One thing I thought about myself, I, I was like, there was one statement I made to myself. I think I saw it somewhere or so, and I keep, and I really made that statement to myself. I said, okay, how, how do I expect someone to love me in ways that I can't even love myself? That's a very strong word. Think about it. You expect someone to validate you. You expect someone to make you feel, feel good and better about yourself. You expect someone to praise you, to make you feel special. And then you cannot do it for yourself. Sometimes it's almost impossible. If you cannot do it for yourself, why do you feel like it's so easy for someone to do it for you too? So start with yourself. That's why they say, um, I think Whitney, she said, learning to love yourself is the greatest gift of all learning to love yourself love yourself first love yourself first validate yourself make yourself feel special and then even if someone does not do it for you it does not count and then also when you're expecting it from someone you expect it because you know that you are worth it you've given it to yourself and you cannot take anything less than that so that's one thing i've been doing and it's been helping me like it's been helping me build my confidence in a way that i really really love so you should try it out if you are in that boat in that category all right the next thing i've been doing to level up is mending relationships relationships that i feel like okay let me not just destroy this relationship totally maybe i overreacted maybe i did this i did that i've been trying to mend them both with family with friends loved ones in general i've been trying to mend relationships put a call out to someone that i've not spoken with for a while now and it's whenever i just get to do that i feel good i feel better i feel relieved so that's something you should try out even don't although there is a bot to it don't mend relationships with toxic people as much as you want to just have that peace of mind if that person is toxic in any form in any way in any manner just fashion that person that is push that person away just leave that person out of the whole equation so just main relationships and while doing that still get to mind the business that pays you don't overstep so that you don't end up regret regretting the fact that you made that move so the next thing i'm doing is to forgive myself like i just like building my self-confidence i don't i i no longer get to beat myself about things that in the past why should i worry when i know that it does not change anything it just makes me unhappy and all forms of negative so i just i'm learning to forgive myself and let go of my own toxic habits that are making me angry at myself that are making me dislike myself i'm letting go of that and i'm also learning to forgive myself move on be happy with myself pat myself on the shoulder and say you are doing well just take it easy girl so that's one thing i've been doing also so that's something you should try out too. it's going to help you to level up not just in your 20s but whether 30s 40s 50s 60s it applies to us all it's going to help us what does leveling up mean it's just to up your game like go higher be a better version of yourself that's what this whole leveling up is all about and all these things i'm doing all these things i listed there are things that i'm doing and things i've done and will continue to do to help me go higher to help me level up and because it's been working well for me and that's why i want to continue with it like right now i feel so special like no matter what i feel like a million bucks like i'm so happy with myself i'm not where i want to be yet but i know that with every day that moves i don't i'm not in the same place i keep going higher and that motivates me to keep pushing once you are still trying it's every, everything you want to achieve is possible anything you want to achieve is possible as long as you keep trying so the last thing on my list the last way you can level up in your 20s or whatever age you are whatever decade you are 
is to start today yes that's the final thing of everything that you feel like you can do to level up the main thing it all boils down to starting today don't postpone it don't shift it and say okay uh maybe i'll start doing that tomorrow maybe i'll start. no 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 start doing it now start doing it today and i promise you you're yeah. going to be so happy with yourself you're going to be glad that you started so the last thing i'll say to you is just start today however it is no matter the situation you are going through just start today because it really really helped me um that's it guys i just said let me share this with you all thank you all so so much for watching if you watch to the end you are the real mvp i really appreciate you please if you like this video don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up comment share with your friends and most especially subscribe guys and i'll see you all in my next one which will be soon but for now bye